So don't be caught with no righteousness in you when Jesus returns. Because when he returns, he's going to return for those who are without spots or wrinkles. See, without the righteousness of God in you, there will be some spots and wrinkles. And at the judgment day, the good God Almighty, all those that do not have his righteousness are going to be goats. Those who do are going to be sheep. Thank God Jesus is the one who will do the separation. That's right. But don't worry about the separation now, brother Brunson. It's not time to judge. It's time to show mercy. It's time to show mercy. And when you do those things, you will be accepted by God. God won't accept nothing else. But his righteousness. God won't accept nothing else but his righteousness. So it behooved not only you, but all of us in the house to get right with God. Yes. Yes. God has made a provision for us to get right with him. That's right. Amen. Through his son Jesus, who went to Calvary Cross, shed his blood for the remission of sin, died, buried, yes. rose again on the third day. Now sits at the right hand of Paul and sent us the Holy Ghost yes, to dwell in us mm -hmm. along with the Word of God so that we can serve God in spirit and in truth. Amen. And that the righteousness of Christ dwells in our heart. So, Brother Brunson, I say to you, stay in the Word. Study the word. Amen. Meditate in the word. Amen. Don't let the problems around you take your focus off the word. Yes. There's going to be a lot of problems around you that will pull your focus off the word. And when you do that, you won't be able to feed your people That's right. that God has placed in your charge. <laughs> to receive knowledge and understanding. Remember, the word must go forth. Must go forth. I'm going to read 2 Timothy chapter 4, and I'm going to leave you now. 2 Timothy chapter
lost here, they eat to themselves. Teachers have an itch of ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And they shall turn be turned unto fables. But for you, watch thou in all things. And do affliction. Do the work of the events. Make full proof of your calling, of God's ministry. Not your ministry. His ministry. For the ministry belongs to God. What you say, my brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are just a pawn of two of instruments in his hand. So I charge you that no matter what, that you stay close to God. Yeah. That you preach and teach His word, mm -hmm. even when you reprove or rebuke, use His word. Do it in loving kindness yes. Yes. with His word. It halt them not with flattery or accolades, but with His word. Mm -hmm. Be do the things that He has stationed you to do. I charge you that you be prayed of, prayed of, and prayed of. For if you do that, this charge that we have extended to you, you will be able to fulfill with ease. For you know that it's not you, but the spirit of a higher being working through you. So I charge you, brother, know who you are in Christ Jesus and preach his word in season, out of season. Yes. Whenever that you come in for your people, I say your people because they are the one that God has entrusted in your care. Come in for them as a high priest because you are part of the royal priesthood. And let them know that there is a higher priest than you. And that's the one that you take your instruction from. Thank you, sir.